How's everybody doing out there today? You know, my last video was from the series, Are You Looking for Jesus? This video is, You Are One Step Away. And I would like to share a short story about my experience 12 years ago so on this very day, February 18th, 2012. You know, I went looking for God on a hoarfrost morning and I found Jesus. <laughs> so a little info here, a hoarfrost is a type of feathery frost that forms, a, you know, like the result of a specific climactic condition. It's sort of rare. The word whore comes from the English that pre refers to the old age appearance of the frost. And the way the ice crystals form makes it look like white hair or a beard. White hair or a beard. <laughs> it happened one early morning in a field that I was walking my dog Maggie on every day, a couple times a day. You know, I was not in good shape mentally or spiritually. Actually, there wasn't much spiritual interest in me as I was an alcoholic and a crack addict recovering basically. You know, that was out of money. I didn't have no money. <laughs> I didn't have any food, no work. I had a van, but it was out of gas. I had no hope. I was facing eviction as I was two and a half months behind paying my rent. Any moment, I figured I was going to be evicted. <laughs> when I walked out of my apartment, I noticed that there was some spectacular weather going on. And, you know, everything outside of that field was covered with a huge amount of frost. It's amazing. You know, as I walked out on the field, I became overwhelmed with just dread and guilt and dismay and panic that I was going to be evicted. And my will was just destroyed. You know, I was in tears. I was in tears when I stopped. You know, I walked out on the field, stopped, and I looked up in the sky, and you know, the, there were clouds that were just swirling around it, and, there's, and the clouds were covering the sun intermittently, so they just go by the sun and cover it, you know, as they went by, basically. Then all of a sudden, the clouds just stilled, it just stilled, created a sun ray or a light pillar, like a flashlight that shined right on the field. You know, I felt like the sun was shining just on me, but although the pillar of light had shined on the whole entire field, the field was about 35 acres, and the crop that was on it was a three-foot-tall rye, you know, that was left for rock crop rotation the next, for the next year, or they just plowed into the ground. You know, the weight of the frost had caused all of the rye to kind of lean over on each other, and it looked like a pure white carpet. The whole field was covered underneath with colors of greens and crimsons and golden browns. And when Maggie would run through, through it, the frost fell off, making this beautiful walkway, which I followed <laughs> out there. You know, there were some large cottonwood trees on the south edge of the, of the acreage. And then there were some large poles with power lines on the north and south edges of the field. Now the power lines were sagging with the weight of the frost, you know, and were at least, the, the frost was at least two to three inches thick on the lines. Things are just huge, <laughs> it was crazy, you know. And I was standing just north of the trees in the middle of the field and I was deep in sorrow and grief. The frost in the trees and everywhere sparkled like billions of diamonds just everywhere. Everywhere you looked, just like diamonds shining. It was like being in a fairy tale, that something maybe you'd see in a movie. You know, I looked up in the sun, my whole body felt a presence, a warm and peace. It was the most amazing feeling I ever had as I stood there. I looked up at that sun. You know, I lifted up my arms straight at the sun. I cried, help me, God, please help me. Please help me. All of a sudden, I started to feel different, feel different. It was hard to describe, but what was happening next was, you know, there was an amazing voice in my mind that said, give me your heart and come follow me. I was overwhelmed with joy. You know, now I'm crying tears of joy, and Maggie knew something was up because she was getting all happy and crazy, too. And, I said, and then the voice said to me again, every step you take in my name, I will bless you. Holy moly. And I said, immediately, I said, yes, I will follow you. And I took a large step out there, you know, just to follow him. And 
the minute that the second that foot hit the ground, there's this large crack in the whole field and the frost broke everywhere, everywhere. It was floating and falling everywhere. I was crying tears of joy and jumping around and Maggie, yeah, with Maggie as well, she's just jumping with me. So, you know, on that day, my old self died and my new self born. Holy Spirit was right there in me, right there, given to me that day. You know, I was just, I was one step away that day and I found Jesus. My addiction stopped on that day. It stopped. And I've received since then thousands of blessings, thousands. That was on February 18, 2012, 12 years from this very day. And I have not stopped telling my story. And I will keep telling this story forever. Believe me, there's a lot more to this story, which, you know, I have videos on YouTube under Jack Jennings at the Recycled Hearts Ministry. And if you'd like to maybe listen to the whole story or something, if you're a homeless looking for help or you are going through some really bad times or you're looking for a better life, maybe you're addicted to something, trying to quit, you know, trying to find a way out. Well, just go somewhere, outside or anywhere. Lift your arms up into heaven, you know, that's between you and God. You gotta be serious, you gotta be sincere. Ask him for help and he will send Jesus to help you. He will send you. In Job 31.4, does he not see my ways and number all my steps? In Psalms 18.36, you enlarge my steps under me and my feet have not slipped. Stay tuned for more help with the Greeley Vineyard or the Vineyard USA. I am living proof. I am living proof that he will help anyone. That's it, folks. See you down the road. If you have questions about recycling your heart, come to the Greeley Vineyard Church or Google the Vineyard USA website and find a church near you. Contact them and there will be someone there to help you.